Hi, I'm Smokey Fontaine, and I'm so excited to be sitting next to Cecily Lopez. Hello, sugar. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm a little nervous. I'm like sitting next to a supermodel. I won't bite. And you're all greased up. Can you tell me how you became one of the hottest, if not the hottest, like supermodel right now? Uh, a lot of prayers <laughs> and just surrounding myself around good people. Now tell me how you got discovered. You're obviously very, very tall. Yeah, freakishly so I could tall. Freakishly tall? Yeah, but a 13-year-old, I've been 5'10 since I was like 12. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. My mother took me to a convention and they told me no. They just shut my dream down. Mm. And she just became so determined that she just brought me up to New York. She sold her house and um, just saw all the agencies and majors, I guess. <laughs> now, you make it sound so easy. No, it's definitely not easy at all. There's a lot of tears, a lot of weight loss. <laughs> tears? Models don't cry. Oh, yes. This one does. All you do? <laughs> do you intimidate guys? I do it on purpose. You do? Yeah. With that stare. <laughs> that stare along with many of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm young and... I can get away with it, so why not? No one comes up to me in the club and no one asks me out because they think I'm just untouchable. A strong enough man who's willing to take that step, that risk, that chance, <laughs> then I guess that's the guy you should be with because I don't want to be with some like, scared loser. Are you different behind the camera than in front of the camera? Definitely. When I'm at home, I'm such a homebody. My boyfriend jokes around saying how boring I actually am. I love to read and cook. I'm so domestic. So. But I'm insane, honestly. I'm Are you? Nuts. <laughs> if I had my choice, I would just be in jeans and t-shirts and flip-flops. <laughs> just, you know, comfortable clothing. But you can't. To see Cecily in a pair of jeans and Spongebob slippers, I mean... But on camera, you give off such a confidence and you give off such a power. Really? <laughs> I think you do. You know, from the stuff that I've seen, absolutely. I mean, you're someone that can give off that sense of kind of control, you know, by maintaining being feminine. But at the same time, like, that's such a strength of, of your pictures, of your face, of your expressions, of everything. When do you turn that switch on? I guess as soon as I see the photographer. I don't really? Want, I don't want to get replaced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, you ready? Let's go. Tell us about the industry. Is it harder than people think? Easier than people think? Tell us about it. Fashion people are so cruel. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like, I, used, I would cry for the first two years just from the casting alone. Just, just like, why would you? I'm, I'm a teenager. You're a grown man telling me these type of things. Like, what's wrong with you? If someone's not happy on set, the client, the photographer, especially as being a woman of color, there's only four models right now who are working and being successful, mm -hmm. including myself. If I come on set and say, you know, I have horrible skin, they're gonna go and replace me with one of the, the other three. Before the Vogue issue and the, the Vogue cover and the black issue, it was really hard to get work as a woman of color. It was always, it was always Leah or Naomi or mm -hmm. Alex. So. Was that an additional barrier you had to kind of overcome? Like, why is so few, and, and what do you have that's that extra special that's allowed you to be? Fashion week just ended, and I saw, I saw so many new women of color, just all mm. shades, and it's truly up to the client who they went in their magazines and on their runway, so. But we're there, we exist, we're trying to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. But myself, I, I, I don't know, I just never stop. I, I don't want to give up, I'm not finished, so. If someone said they don't want to use me, then I'm just going to work just as hard so the next time you have to use me. There's mm. no excuses. And do you feel like you have to be that much better than a non-woman of color? Or like, like that stare just has to be the stare that no one can match with? Yeah, no one. Black, yellow, purple, blue. Right. You, are, you can't take my stare. <laughs> That's definitely stare. <laughs> I have to find someone else. <laughs> You have to give me that face again. This is the cover look. Ladies and gentlemen, th this is all you have to do. Tyra smiles with her eyes, but I frown with my face. That's, that's, a, that's a stare. That's, that's how I get my covers. It's all in the neck. Is it all in the neck? No, not really. I can't tell you. <laughs> you can tell me. You can whisper. I'm telling you. It's not going to happen. It's the eyes. And the, so. and the power. And it's, it's like it, all of it put together. It's the Cecily. It's the Cecily. <laughs>
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've cracked the code. It's the Cecily. Can't do it. Cecily Lopez, you truly are one of the most amazing models we have. Oh, that is insane. You've broken through, you're a woman of color, you represent yourself so amazingly well. Thank you. And you take a fabulous picture. I'm trying. Keep trying. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.